was at the suggestion of Father Mulla S.J. that the then Bishop of Mangalore, Monsignor Abandias Kavadini S.J., invited the Sisters of Charity from Italy to work at the Leprosy Hospital in Kankanadi. The first four valiant sisters who ventured to come to Mangalore as missionaries were Sister Fiorenza Ronzoni, Sister Alessandrin Sormani, Sister Madalena Managetti, and Sister Franceschina Lorarski as the first superior of the new community at Father Mullas. The brave four took up the challenge and came to India. Their minds focused on the mission that is to serve the sick and the suffering, they landed on the Indian soil. Due to certain difficulties, the sisters left the hospital in August 1898. These humble sisters were warmly welcomed by the Jesuits at Jeppu, now known as Prashan Nivas, that takes care of the orphans and abandoned. The sisters were called back to take up the apostolate at Father Mullas in 1912. These sisters laid the foundation for nursing profession in Father Mullah Hospital. In 1915, on May 25th, the first Indian sister, Sister Vincenza Saldana, took charge of the leprosy hospital. The sisters started their services to leprosy, cholera and plague-affected patients. As they served the sick and the suffering, they fell victims to the deadly diseases. In the year 1917, Sister Pelice Salvi succumbed to cholera and later Sister Catherine Sartorelli died of smallpox. Like these early sisters, many other sisters spent their youthful life rendering their services in caring for the sick and the suffering. The year 1959 was a red letter day of the Father Mullah history. The School of Nursing was opened with Father Marian Fernandez as the director and Sister Maria Teresa Fernandez as the founder principal. Dear sisters, after the establishment of the Sisters of Charity in 1915, when compared with the length of human experience. Yet, measured in terms of the values and endeavors of the early Italian missionaries who resumed their missions at Father Mullah's Hospital, the community of St. Vincent Convent, was started in 1912. It's a long history mixed up with persons and events. Many of our sisters working in the hospital found joy in the midst of suffering and they helped to bring solace to all those with whom they came in contact with within the lovely campus of Father Mullis, with love in their hearts, joy on their faces. They served with care and concern for the needy and the suffering. <laughs> ओस की बूंदे पत्तों की गोद में आसमां से कूदे अंगड़ाई ले फिर करवट बदल कर नाजुक से मोती हंस दे फिसल कर खो न जाए ये 
उतारे जमीन पर ये तो है सर्दी में धूप इट गिव्स मी इमेंस जॉय टू एक्सप्रेस माय सेंटिमेंट्स एट द ओकेशन ऑफ द सेंटेनरी सेलिब्रेशंस द सेंटेनरी सेलिब्रेशन इज एन ओकेशन टू रिकॉल द बर्थ एंड द ग्रोथ ऑफ दिस कम्युनिटी हियर एट पादुपुला to relive the journey of selfless service to carry forward the legacy of the past and to thank god for all his blessings throughout this century it's also a time to introspect evaluate the services of the past and to look forward to the future with progressive and positive plans it's a moment to say for all that has been thanks and for all that will be yes what a remarkable achievement it is to complete a century of committed service of the sick and suffering we the sisters at st vincent convent feel proud to be present here at this moment Our mission is not restricted to the hospital alone. We are also engaged in giving health awareness programs to the schools, parishes and other social groups. Thank you. May God bless you. St Vincent Convent was built in the year 1912 Since then the convent has been a home away from home to thousands of sisters We speak of the achievements service and dedication of the sisters at the hospital day in and day out from morning till late at night our sisters toil tirelessly what keeps them going what is their source of strength the answer is st vincent convent the mission in the hospital and life in the community are the two faces of the same coin Our mission is strengthened by daily eucharistic celebration. Our call, our religious life is sustained by prayer and other spiritual exercises. In the community, we share our joys and sorrows. We learn to love and support one another. The community spirit and life make us true servants. of Christ mission when then bishop cavadini wrote to the mother general in rome requesting for the sisters to come to india and to mangalore he wrote these words come but be ready to suffer much for the love of christ these words were made real by the commitment dedication and the witness that these sisters gave to the church and to humanity in father muller charitable institutions for the past 100 years they have collaborated beautifully the mission of the church specifically the church 
in the diocese of Mangalore. In the history of Father Mullins, the Sisters of Charity have a unique place and also a unique place in the hearts of millions who visited the hospital seeking health and healing. When they celebrate 100 years of their existence and presence in this institution, it is an occasion for us to give thanks to God for all His blessings that He has showered on this institution through these sisters. Thank you and God bless these sisters. There's just one thing that I want